Let's take a look at Harping on the Guitar by Roger Hudson. A lot of the song involves playing single notes at a time in the form of eighth notes. So I'm thinking of the first measure. One and two and three and four and. That's the first measure. One and two and three and four and. The third beat is tied to the and of the second beat. One and two and three and four and. If you look closely at the tablature, you'll see that there's suggested fingering for the right hand, but that comes in the old the Latin alphabet, the, the, the P-I-M-A. So P is thumb. I is your index finger, M is the middle finger, and then your annular finger, the, the third finger, is the A. So, so that's written at the bottom of the standard notation. So thumb, one, two, three, one, two, three, and then that repeats thumb. Those are fingers I was um, saying, not the count. <laughs> I also want to draw your attention to, like, say, in the third measure, there's some numbers around the standard notation notes. Now, those are your, your fretting hand fingers. So, again, the, there's suggested fingering for the fretting hand to make to make the, the playing of the song the most efficient and the most accessible. So just pay attention to the fingering of both, both hands, the, the picking and the fretting hand. Okay. Uh, but like I said, a lot of the notes are just played one at a time, like in measures one and two. Oh, and while you're playing those measures, you hold down the chord with your your fretting hand so like measure one is based on a G chord so I'm holding the three on the sixth string which is G I'm holding the two on the third string which is a so it's kind of like a G9 chord very pretty chord so in other words those two fingers get held down on those strings for measures one and two and all I have to worry about moving is my my uh, picking hand and then as indicated in the music I reach with my first finger to play the F sharp I'm on measure three there's it's a fret two okay so in other words my sec my second finger my middle finger of my fretting hand didn't move from measures one and two Back to measure one. And now I put that F sharp down. And. Okay, so like measure four. Here's the first time where we're actually playing two notes at the same time in harmony. Beginning of measure four requires me to play still the F sharp. That's second fret, sixth string, but then I have to also grab my second second string open. So I'm playing both those strings at the same time. Okay, but that doesn't happen too often in this song. In fact, I think maybe that's the only place. So just take note of that. But you know, that's what makes finger styles so so great for pieces like this. You you can easily you know, pluck or claw those two strings at the same time. So let me play through this whole piece for you so you have a reference. Harping on the Guitar by Roger Hudson.
kind of made up my own ending there. But then those last two measures end on a so. Chord and then open number two. And then that's a, a harmonic there on, on the fret 12. So you just lightly touch on, you put your finger, so if you identify fret 12 and the fret 12, it has like a, a fret wire on the top and a fret wire on the bottom, right? By the way, fret 12 is the one with the double dots. So if you put your finger on the third string, but not on like in between the fret wires where you'd normally press on the string, but just gently put lay your finger on the string, but above the fret wire, the bottom fret wire, and you put just a little bit of pressure on the string, and then you get that nice bell-like harmonic. Okay, so usually when I end this song... I just kind of, you know, slowly finish my picking pattern. Maybe give a, one of those harmonics and then I kind of like to do a, a tap. So I'm not even fretting with my fretting hand, I'm just tapping on G fret three of the sixth string. Something like that. Okay, so this, this uh, tune can be a bit challenging because of all the open strings ringing out and uh, you probably heard my strings buzzing a little bit because, you know, maybe my I was a little bit sloppy on my fretting hand. <laughs> but that kind of gives you a, a reference to how the song should sound. You can play it nice and slow. You'll notice that above fret uh, measure one, it says tenderly. So the song is meant to, be play, meant to be played slow and tenderly. Take your time. And yeah, it's a great fingerstyle tune. Very pretty. Enjoy that. <laughs>